Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and just pretty much go into and talk about Last Epoch. So in Last Epoch we're actually having a new cycle which is known as a League. If you guys play like Path of Exile for example. They teased this about I think two weeks ago, maybe a little bit earlier, but uh, I haven't really covered it and I just wanted to show you guys because we're going to go be streaming it today, so pretty excited. So this here is the uh, Harbingers of Ruin official trailer, and there's like a giant patch overview, but we're going to do that on stream. We're not going to do a video about it today. You remind me of him. One of the, the big things about this patch, so in Epog prior, you would have like your character in the campaign, right? You would play through your character, figure out your build, you know, get into monoliths, start blasting monoliths. And after a certain point, you're kind of stuck in your direction. You can go to push like the higher tier dungeons or push higher tier monolith or farm items for your character. But there wasn't really a, a goal, I guess you could say. So right now, outside of, you know, completing all of the corrupted monoliths or empowered monoliths, this kind of gives more of an objective, which is kind of interesting. So I'm very excited for that alone and also very excited to try um, like kind of like an archetype I haven't really played before. One of the problems I had with Epog before is constantly playing similar builds, which would kind of end in a similar result. So if you want something fresh, you got to try something new, right? Traveler, it's that same unwavering hope that led us straight into oblivion. Or, uh, cinematic slash teasers are looking way better. That's true, we get the new evade ability, yeah, the league mechanic, which looks pretty cool. A new faction, right? I, I can't believe I actually forgot about this stuff. <laughs> I think the faction system is a really big part of Epog for sure. To warn you, to spare you, but his eyes are upon you now. There is no time left, no refuge, no hope. His harbingers are coming. That was a bit of a flashbang at the end. I really like it. I'll be honest. I'm I'm really excited. I am more excited for this release than the actual release of the game is that weird i don't really know why um but definitely very excited for this i think we're gonna be peaking blade dancer uh it's been a long time since i have played like the rogue archetype i've played way too much sentinel unfortunately <clears throat> i know that there is a, a new like void knight righteous fire related item so maybe as like a second or third build uh what else is there I believe Mage is getting their RF style skill, uh, like Flame Aura and etc. also buffed. Uh, so we'll see. There's going to be a lot to explore, but I think we're going to start with some type of Blade Dancer build, and we'll figure out more on the stream because we're going to be digging through the patch notes for the next few hours until the league goes live. So catch you guys all later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. Also some PoE content coming soon since the, the teasers for PoE are finally starting to drop. So catch you guys all later.